What's going on guys, welcome back to another fresh commentary. Now guys, update 1.5 for Stardew Valley has finally come out for the Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation version of the game. On December 21st, the update released on the PC version of the game first. But now, two months later, I'm here to say that the update has finally come out for the Switch and every other console version of the game. Conquered Ape, the creator for the game, tweeted out a couple hours ago saying, The Stardew Valley 1.5 update for Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation are out now, and should be available on all platforms within the next couple hours and yeah that's pretty much it i've been enjoying the crap out of the new update myself quite a bit especially the new beach farm so for it to finally be available on other platforms besides pc for everyone to enjoy is awesome in a previous video i talked about when the release for 1.5 will be and what's included in the new update if you want to go check out that video then you can do so by clicking the annotation at the top right of your screen right now or by going to the link in the description but i just want to take the rest of this video to go over what's included in this massive update in case some of you guys may not know now for one, in update 1.5, we have a new farm option like I mentioned before, which is the beach farm. The beach farm makes it easier for foraging and fishing. There's a ton of open space for you to use, supply crates also wash up on the shore time to time. And yeah, the only downside is sprinklers don't work because of the sandy soil. But I honestly don't mind it because I get to fish better. I'll just water them manually. <laughs> also, another thing they added is new crops and trees, like the mahogany tree that drops hardwood, fiber seeds, ginger, banana, mango, pineapple, taro root, new palm tree variant, QI fruit, and more. New enemies are also included in the new update, like Darvish Sentry, I hope I said the name right, <laughs> False Magma Cap, Hide Head, Lava Lurk, Magma Sprite, Magma Spark, Magma Duggy, jeez, that's so much of the magma. Spin It, Stick Bug, and a Tiger Slime. The Tiger Slime I haven't seen at all, everything else I've seen. <laughs> we also got some new fertilizers for farming like the Deluxe, which increases the chance of higher quality crops, Retaining Soil, which keeps your soil watered overnight, and my favorite, the new Hyper Speed Grow, which increases the growth rate of your crops by 33%. This one is like the best. It's helped me out so much. And it's really easy to craft. And yeah, this is some of the important stuff that I figured I would mention to you guys. This isn't all of it because there's just so many features in this new update. If you want to read more about what's included in the update, I'll leave a link in the description to the 1.5's change log. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Stardew Valley Update 1.5 is finally here. Well, it's been out on PC for over two months, but I mean, it's finally available on every other platform like the Switch, PS4, and Xbox One for everyone to enjoy, not just PC. If you found this video helpful or just enjoyed hearing my voice for a couple minutes, please leave a like. Comment down what features interest you the most in 1.5 or if you're excited that the update is finally available on your preferred platform. I read and reply to every comment, so let me know. Also, be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. I post videos every day, 1pm ET, and I wouldn't mind posting some more Stardew content since I play the game so much on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash lapisgoblue by the way. And yeah, I just wanted to make an update video because in my last video I talked about when the update will release and it's finally out everywhere now. So I wanted to update the people who subbed to me for that specific reason. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Stay blue.